welcome back uh, to this particular channel this is still paper one english kcse and uh, we're looking at the structure of the paper and what exactly the paper entails and this time around it is uh, it is a performance question that we are very much interested on and even as you're preparing for your uh, this november coming exams uh, welcome a traveling theater group is staging a performance of one of the literature set books in the local sub-county level hall i mean members of the drama club the form three students and the form four students would want to watch the performers as the secretary of the drama club write a letter to the uh, principal asking for formal permis permission in your letter give details about who will attend the date and the time of the performance and the cost you should also explain why the performance is important. Uh, good students, this is a prompt that requires you to write. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an institutional writing, but again, it's a formal writing whereby all the formats of formal writing are followed. You are required to, or the responses need to entail the following. One, it needs to be a formal letter. Two, writer's address, and of course, the format of the writer's address. Date, and also the format recipient's address and format, salutation, that is dear sir or dear madam. Subject, re must appear in the subject. Content, appropriate to instructions. Now, in the part of the content which should be appropriate to the instructions, you read the prompt and those particular instructions that are provided, like you're writing a formal letter asking for a permission, and in the details of it will include who is to attend, um the performance cost the time and of course the date and of course an explanation of why the performance is important and uh, finally we have the complementary close and signature you want it up so in other words in this particular work here you need really to look into the format and the outlook what are the features of a formal letter especially in this context question two of the same is going to be a closed text Read the passage below and fill in each blank space with the most appropriate word. Read the passage below and fill in each blank space with the most appropriate word. Now, before we read, good learners, I usually recommend that first of all, read through the text as though it is complete, like all those particular blank spaces are not there. The reason and the purpose of doing this is that you'll get an idea or you get a concept of the perspective, like... When it is the first person perspective, second person perspective, and third person, you'll be able to come up with appropriate words that you can fill in those particular blank spaces. Two, by reading as though that particular work is complete, is that you'll get an idea of the tense used. If it is in the present or in the past, and then you'll know which words, especially when it comes to verbs, that you need to fill in those blank spaces are more appropriate and more relevant. By doing so, I guarantee you that you'll have nothing to worry, especially when it comes to these. You'll be going with those 10 marks. So, I'm not going to do it right now. Find it during your pleasure time and apply those particular two methods that I've told you and you'll find it easy. Now, onto our text. Are leaders born or are they created out of circumstances and experience? The debate on this topic has gone as long as the chicken, egg, the chicken and egg one. <laughs> There are strong points for each side. For our purposes, we will say that this answer is a little bit of both. Some individuals such as the royalty are born and bred to take on leadership roles in later life. Other people develop into leaders over a sustained period of time. This is the type of leader we should all strive to become. All too often, people find themselves in the awe of great leaders wondering where did these beings like these come from. What these same individuals fail to realize is that although personality and luck can contribute to a leader's success, those things are not the essence of what makes an exceptional leader. The text above that you've read is adapted from Everything Leadership Book by Bob Adams. Part 3 or question 3 of the same paper. Read the point below and then answer the questions that follow. A poison tree. I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath, my wrath did end. I was angry with my foe. I 
told it not, my rod did grow. And I watered it in fears, night and morning with tears. And I summed it with smiles, and with soft deceitful wiles. And it grew both day and night, till it bore an apple bright, and my foe beheld it shine. And he knew what it was, mine. And into the garden stole, when the night had veiled the pole, in the morning glad I see, my foe outstretched beneath the tree, by William Blake. Questions from the poem. Identify and explain any two features that would make this poem easy to recite. Identify and explain any two features that would make this poem easy to recite. The lines are simple and the language is not difficult, easy to read and remember. There is a regular repetition of words at regular inter uh, predictable parts of the poem. For example, stanza 2, 3, and 4 starts with the word and and all the lines of stanza 1 with I. The stanzas are of the same size, all have four lines. The lines are basically of the same length. Question 2. Describe the rhyme scheme of this poem. You'll never miss that question in an exam, especially when it comes to this particular part. The rhyme scheme is all four stanzas in A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, H, H. In other words, in couples, not in triplets, but in couplets. In stanza one, we have couple of friend, and. And also we have a couple of four, grow. In stanza two, we have fears, tears. And smiles, wiles. In stanza three, we have night, bright, and shine, and mine. In stanza four, stall, tall, and sea tree. Question three. In an oral performance of this poem, how would you say the last line? In an oral performance of this particular poem, how would you say the last line? In, of course, a celebratory tone, the persona has been plotting to kill the enemy for a long time and now his plans have borne fruit, a smile to show contentment or satisfaction rather. It could be said in a falling or rising intonation, Low, which is falling intonation, which would suggest both the end of the poem and, of course, the sad message of death, deliberate, slow pace. Of course, use of gestures, for example, outstretched hands to show how the four stretched beneath the tree. B. Paying attention to the vowel sound in each of the following words, pick the odd one out. Sin, ship, these, been, be. One, sun, put, torn, but. Had, hat, firm, an, and fur. Road, coat, port, sue, and no. Sit, nine, fight, I, and hide. Soup, food, sue, root, Good. Good learners, you love to pause in this particular part here and also do what I'm doing past, past, uh, as an individual and see which words are sounding differently from your articulation of these particular words. But for now, for me, I love to proceed. Hopefully that you've paused right there. You've taken your time. Now back. Picking out the old vowel sound. Ship, that is in the first case. Put, number two. Hand, for number three. Port, for number four, six, number five, and good, number six. C, for each one of the following, of the, of, of the words below, provide another word that is pronounced in the same way but spelled differently, five marks. Might, might, rest, rest, waste, waste, stare, stare, rain, and rain. Read the dialogue below, then answer the questions that follow. That's part D of, the part of that particular part. It's a performance question. Mrs. Miu, good morning, Kantai. Why are you waiting outside? Kantai, good morning, madam. I was waiting to speak to you. Mrs. Miu, what is the problem this time? Are the boys in your class fighting? Kantai, there's no problem, madam. My class sent me to ask you to allow them to attend the entertainment session tomorrow. Miss Mir, you already know the answer to this, Kantai. Your class had their turn last weekend. Kantai, 
It is true, madam. We had our time last weekend, but madam, the video showing this weekend is based on our on one of our literature set text. Here is the notice, madam. Mrs. Mio, let me see it. Can't I? Here, madam. Also, madam, we've produced questions that we will answer and discuss in groups after watching the video. Mrs. Mio, where are the questions? Can't I? Here they are, madam. Now, questions from that particular small dialogue that we've had there. What marks politeness in this negotiation? What marks politeness in this negotiation? One, the teacher greets the student at the start of the dialogue to create a rapport. Two, the student returns the greeting. Three, the student addresses the teacher with respect throughout. And another aspect of politeness in the text or in that particular dialogue is the teacher respects turn-taking rules. Question two, what in this negotiation shows that Kantai had prepared his case well? He brought the notice of the meeting as a proof that there would be a video, a supporting proof or supporting evidence. He also brought proof of his class preparation. We saw that particular part of the questions to be responded after they've watched. He had reasons why watching the video was important to them as a class. Question three, what in Mrs. Simeo's behavior encourages Kantai to continue with the negotiation? What in Mrs. Simeo's behavior encourages Kantai, Kantai to continue with the negotiation? She shows interest in the evidence Kantai has brought and that will also, of course, ne necessitate the uh, negotiation. She listened to him. In other words, the teacher gives Kantai attention, cautious, or politely, uh, politely responds to what Kantai says. He also, she also lets Kantai express himself. Question number four. Provide two appropriate turns to complete the negotiation, one from Mrs. Mew and one from Kantai. Now, this is going to be varied as the first case there, but must show completion of the negotiation, like maybe an agreement that yes, she has, she has accepted their proposal or she has not. There must be a varied completion right there. Suggestions. Teachers can express appreciation for what Kantai has done or commend him for thorough preparations and promise to try and get permission or exemptions. Kantai thanks the teacher and makes promises that the students will behave well. Good students, this marks the end of this particular episode. The next time round we meet, we'll be talking about another performance question from the same paper. And how I wish that you prepare yourself adequately, even as you're looking forward to sit for this particular paper. Good day.